Barney's, American Apparel, Papyrus, Payless Shoes, one's booming stores that have gone bust? Is it the Amazon effect, the so-called ghost mauling of America, spreading to standalone retailers? Regardless, the real effects are on the workers. It, it, it totally disenfranchises people. Mom Leslie Brown, whose daughter worked in retail, sees the effect up close. Despite a booming economy and record low unemployment, retail is one of only two sectors to lose jobs. Since 2017, 140,000 jobs have disappeared. They're taken away from the mom and pops, which also is a means for the younger generation to, you know, sweep the outside of the floor, make sure that everything is stocked right. Georgette Farkas had to let her restaurant crew of 40 go after eight years of running a popular midtown eatery. She found so many of the city's regulations were a recipe for failure. Labor costs doubled under new city rules, a fate more New York businesses are facing. It definitely gets harder and harder, and I, I hope the city doesn't make it so hard that, uh, you know, small independent businesses can't survive. The city Small Business Administration finding some New York neighborhoods have 15 to 25 percent vacancies, reflecting a nationwide trend. Studies finding women workers suffering more job losses than men. It's All praise is glory and honor unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekakadash. Double honors unto the... Uh, Apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well through the scriptures, peace to the whole free elect. Right. Uh, as you can see, man, the retail apocalypse, which has been going on for a while now, especially since the, uh, you know, with the people buying more and more and more online. And then it, it get delivered right to your door. You ain't got to worry about the hassles of uh, waiting in line or uh, going to the store to find out that they ran out online. They let you know they ran out right then and there. And it's uh, a lot of stuff online is cheaper. But what I want to uh, hone in on is the fact that she said uh, women are being affected more so than men by the so-called retail apocalypse. And basically uh, in the in employment field in general, because when you when you, who do you see mostly work in retail anyway? The majority you see, you see women work in retail, you know, majority you go even now. When you go to these little clothes stores, this uh, you know, uh, you know, you go to Ross or you go to uh, Macy's or you go to the 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 uh, major, you know, the majority of employees you see be women, but even in the employment field in general, women are suffering because the jobs that that have been created are uh, mainly uh, labor or uh, manual labor, manufacturing, and I, and I and I see that, you know, I see that. Uh, out here in Indianapolis working because there's a lot of jobs in this area and the surrounding um, small counties as well. But the majority of them are labor and manufacturing. And, you know, women, contrary to popular belief, and women ain't, ain't equal to a man. All right. And definitely not in strength. And so when I go to work, it's, you know, we lift, uh, we deal with car parts. We inspect them and we have to lift them and put them. And, you know, some of them pieces is, is, is heavy and the carts be heavy. You know, and, and, and then the women that be there, they be needing help. You know, and they got older women needing help. They even had a pregnant woman there working. But that uh brings to mind this scripture, all right? Isaiah. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 32, and verse 9. It says, Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Right, because Esau uh, has allowed uh, women certain goodies in this kingdom. In this kingdom of, of, of establishing the woman above the man, he, he gave them perks, all right, certain government benefits that's more easily for a woman to receive than a man, such as a uh, uh, food stamps or a uh, uh, TANF or uh, uh, things like Section 8, you know, or uh, government housing, government assistance. You know, those things are, are, are on paper it's supposed to be access to anybody in need. But who gets them? Majority, majority women. All right. But now we living in a time where those things are going to be taken away. 
All right, and that will make a, that'll make somebody careless knowing that they could just fall they can just fall back on the government. Oh, even child support. All right. That whole that whole scheme too. The whole child support scheme. Where even if a uh in some cases, I don't know if this nationwide, but in, in, in some states or some cases you you can sign a birth certificate believing you the father. Coming to find out you not the father and you still responsible to pay child support. And or if that child goes to college, your child support is extended until him or her finish college. He says, uh, tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins. Right. They shall lament for the teats, for the pleasant fields, for the fruitful vine. Right. They're going to they gonna lament me more. They're going to mourn for the, for, and, and the, what's a teat? All right. Let's look that up in the uh, blue letter. Let's see. Isaiah. Slack. Yeah. Isaiah 32. They shall lament for the teats. Let's look up teats shod in the Hebrew. It says breast, bosom, female, breast, breast, breast. Right, a pap. So it's that's um metaphorical, all right? Uh what the, what that mean? They're gonna mourn for the because if breast gives nourishment, all right, that means that means someone is giving you nourishment. That means someone is supplying you, all right. So basically the government gives uh these women the teeth, man. The government gives these women the nourishment, all right? The sustenance, all right? And they're going to stop, and that's going to stop, all right? You see all these things about the economy, oh, the economy, this, the government, the, 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 the deficit, and billion, trillion, and, and all of this stuff, man. And a long time ago, uh, it was simply put to me, just having a regular conversation with some older folks, they say, well, well, the Democrats... uh. Like as far as like presidents, Democrats. What do Democrats do? Uh, give money, and Republicans go to war, and or take money or something like that. All right, and Trump is uh, you know, and Trump ain't ain't ain't, ain't shy about cutting off uh government aid and government spending in, in in certain areas. All right, and soon it's gonna be cut off in this area. All right, so let me jump to uh. Pardon me. Let me go to hmm. Ecclesiastes. Let me see. Twelve. It says, uh, remember, I'll start at verse one. It says, remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. While the sun, nor the light, or the moon, or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain. So, so turn to the Lord now. All right, turn to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai now. All ye seed of Jacob. Okay, while the truth is still available before those missiles come. All right, because it says, while the sun, or the light, or the moon, or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain. Now the truth is represented as light. And all those things are, are light, man. So while this light is out there, get it. And also what's gonna what's gonna darken uh what's gonna darken the sun or the moon or the stars? All right, with those uh those missiles, man. When those missiles come, when those nuclear missiles come and explode and those mushroom clouds plume up, big old big plumes of smoke cover the sky where you don't see nothing, man. But but ash and darkness, man. Return to the Lord before that happened. Verse 3. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease because they are few, and those that look out of the windows be darkened. All right? So, like, let me see. Right. So, be before the, before the grinding cease, man. All right, and grinding is work. You know, uh, you know, people say I'm on a grind. I'm grinding. Back in the day, I'm hustling. All right, 
It says, uh, and the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low, when the work is low, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. So we in that time, the, 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 the daughters of music is brought low. Music not as good as it used to be. And the work, the work is not flourishing, all right? This ain't like back in the 50s and 60s and uh, when, when, when you can go to these mills and go to these, uh, what, uh, uh, like in Detroit, they had the little, uh, the motor, the motor companies, you can work for there, have a nice paying job and plan a retirement. This ain't, we ain't in those times, all right? Let me look up grinding. Grinding is takana in the Hebrew. It says mill from a hand mill grinding, a mill work by hand. Pardon me. There's another definition for grinding. And it means uh let me see. It goes into uh, to kind to grind, cuss, to grind together. Right, that's what it says to be a kind. Right, that's the definition. I'm on it. To kind, it says to grind, to crush. Uh, go down to the Strong's definition to grind mill. Hint, uh, right. So that's going into working. Then it says hence to be a concubine, that being their employment. And that's and that's season two because a lot of times a woman will uh turn to um prostitution to make ends meet. And a lot of women are going to turn to prostitution. All right. Like it's happening now. Like you can't even you can't even you can't avoid it really if you on social media as far as like being exposed to it, women all in your inbox uh trying to talk to you and then uh uh giving you rates and charges and you're like, wait a minute, what are you or you just they just advertising themselves everywhere, man. Everywhere. It's all over it's all over social media. And I'm not on um social media like that anymore. But uh like but it, it happens, man, on, on on Snapchat, um Facebook, these different little outlets, man. But that's going that's going to return and then that's not going that's not going, you know, that's not going to be a um a, a, a valuable source of income, all right? Because here in, in Babylon, prostitution is illegal, and uh, the main um, avenue that they was the women was uh, prostituting themselves on, they they shut that down, all right? That was a big thing a couple years ago, and that's why you see them. It used to be a private thing, all right, with women online, but now it's everywhere, all right? And that's what they're going to resort to. You see this retail apocalypse. What you going to do now with all these, uh, you know, single single uh, mothers and, uh, you know, single parent households and only single income, you know? So, you know, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson to hopefully let all praises going on unto you. How about Shimei? I'm shy about Shimei.